Welcome to the Membership Guys podcast. Kick-ass advice and tips for membership site owners. Well, hello there. Thank you for joining me for episode 104 of the Membership Guys podcast. I'm your host, Mike Morrison, one half of the Membership Guys, and this is the place where we dispense proven practical tips, tactics, and advice for growing a successful membership website. Now, when you have a large amount of content inside your membership, or you're continuously adding new content on a regular basis, whatever that content is, there's a real big risk of overwhelming members. And when members are overwhelmed, they're more likely to slip behind. And when they slip behind, they're less likely to stay subscribed for a long-term basis. And so avoiding that overwhelm is a key part of your content strategy and of your role as a membership site owner. So in today's show, I'm going to talk about some of the biggest causes of member overwhelm and give you some tips and some tactics to help avoid it. Now, today's show is actually taken from a lesson out of our membership content strategy course inside Member Site Academy. So you're actually getting a little bit of a taste of what our members inside the academy get. And we'll talk a little bit more about that course later on. But for now, let's jump right in to talking about how you can avoid overwhelm in your membership site. If you're running a membership and you use a membership content model whereby you're continuously adding new content on an ongoing basis or where you have a huge library of lots of different items of content, lots of deliverables, then for the member, it can be a little bit like trying to drink from a water hose. There's too much content, there's too much activity going on in the community, too many discussions, all this new stuff constantly coming at you, and you feel like you're continuously being bombarded with new stuff before you've even had a chance of consuming the original content that was in the site. So this is without question a big, big issue and a key part of getting your membership content strategy right right. Overwhelm in a membership site essentially breaks down into these core types. First of all, you have content overwhelm. So this is probably one of the more common types of overwhelm you have within a lot of memberships out there today. And this is where people feel that there's simply too much content. And not only that, but that content is being released too frequently. As a result, they perhaps have no clear idea of where to start, when they complete a course or they complete a tutorial, where to go to next, or what order they need to consume your content or your other deliverables in. Now, in this context, content could be your educational material. It could be the discussions and activities that are going on within your community. Simply the quantity and the frequency of what people are getting within the membership is too much for them to keep up with. And ultimately, they feel like they're getting left behind and that will eventually lead to them cancelling your membership because they feel like they're incapable of actually getting the value that they're paying for. It's simply too difficult to stay on top of everything. So that's content overwhelm. The second type of membership overwhelm is engagement overwhelm. So this is where as a membership site owner, you place too high a demand on the level of interaction and involvement that somebody has to have within your membership. Now, it could be where you're running multiple live calls every single week, or you're requiring that members log in every single day in order to get value from your site. Maybe you haven't really understood or really grasped the time and the commitment restraints that your audience have. Perhaps you're dealing with busy parents who can only spare 30 to 60 minutes every few days, but your membership is structured and the content is delivered in such a way that you're putting too high a demand on them actually using your site. Engagement overwhelm can also kick in in the community side of things, especially when people perceive your community as being quite clicky and having a lot of in-jokes and almost a little bit of internal hierarchy and all sorts of things. That can be overwhelming for outsiders who feel like the barriers are simply too high for them to be able to actually engage with your community. They're going to be scared to ask a question. They're going to be wary about whether their opinion is one that is both valid and also one that they're even permitted to express within your community. An engagement overwhelm can also simply be too many emails, too many check-ins, too many updates, where someone feels like they're hearing far too much from you and far too much about your membership. 
The third type of overwhelm that's common within membership sites is technical overwhelm. So this is where your website and your membership has a perceived high technical barrier. Now this might be an actual high technical barrier in that you have multiple systems to log into and there's quite a high learning curve or it may simply be that the technical competencies of your audience are either very basic or non-existent and you haven't done a very good job of onboarding them or of making it simple for them to actually log in and functionally use your membership site. This certainly leads to technical overwhelm. This sort of overwhelm can also kick in where your website is simply poorly organized, where the navigation makes no sense and your members spend half their time on your site trying to figure out how to actually use it, where to find what they need to find, how to get back to something they were previously looking at and this distracts from what they're actually accessing your membership to do and it leads to this sort of technical overwhelm where simply the act of logging in and using your membership becomes exhausting. That sort of overwhelm is characteristic risk of memberships where you have multiple different systems and logins that your members need to remember so rather than having everything in one location with a single login and a single account perhaps you have your community over on one platform your membership content over on another you use a different platform for doing your live calls and so you're really asking a lot of your members in terms of remembering URLs, bookmarking stuff, knowing where to go for certain types of information and so on. And that can be very overwhelming for members, even those who do have a higher tolerance and a higher threshold of technical ability. So how do you actually tackle this sort of overwhelm? The answer lies in the four S's, system, structure, scheduling, and segmentation. So in terms of your system, the technical side of things with your membership site, the platforms that you choose for delivering your membership content for running your community are key in helping to avoid overwhelm. As an example, Facebook groups are terrible for anything other than chit chat. You shouldn't be trying to deliver any sort of content that your members might want to reflect back on. You shouldn't be looking to deliver your actual membership content or resources or anything like that within a Facebook group. There's numerous other reasons why you might not want to use a Facebook group for memberships but solely in terms of addressing overwhelm for memberships that grow to a certain size if you're trying to disseminate important key membership deliverables through your Facebook group it turns into that fire hose for your members and it becomes practically impossible for them to keep up for them to find a discussion they were looking at yesterday for them to actually be able to relocate and to search any previous information any previous content you put out through your group so definitely think hard about the platforms that you use and if you must use a Facebook group for your membership please only use it for chit chat because anything other than that is a guaranteed way that you're going to end up overwhelming your members. Wherever possible try to have a single platform for your membership with everything under one roof so that means your course content is being delivered on the same website as your community in the same location where people get all of their access details for live calls and so on. The more platforms you have to juggle the more accounts and login information and URLs your members need to remember the more your members need to learn in terms of how to actually use these different platforms and the more confusing it is to try and remember where it is you need to go to access certain parts of the membership keep things simple have everything under one roof and that's a great way of avoiding overwhelm if you have any form of mobile app for your membership site go easy on things like push notifications. We very often see people if they have a custom app developed or if they're using a platform that allows you to have an app as a feature, they get a little bit carried away with the fact that they can send push notifications to people's mobile phones. As a result, they end up annoying and overwhelming their members because it seems every other day there's a new alert or a new update or something you're asking them to do within your membership. Go easy on the push notifications if you want to avoid overwhelming your members. So these are system-related techniques for avoiding content engagement and technical overwhelm. The next area you want to look at is structure. So this relates to how you structure your membership, how you structure your content to make it less overwhelming for members so they have a better idea of where to start, what to do next, where to find and how to find the things most relevant to them. 
So things like pathways or roadmaps work very well for memberships where you're essentially helping everybody go through a specific process or work towards a set goal or outcome. So if you're teaching a specific technique or if, for example, as we do in Member Site Academy, you're teaching people how to plan, build, then launch and grow their membership website, providing some sort of roadmap, some sort of step-by-step guide through all of your content can be a great way of structuring your content in a way that it just makes more sense and it's easier for people to focus on the right things at the right time. So with something like that, you would look at the whole journey the whole pathway of where someone is if they're coming in a square one and where someone ultimately wants to be you then break that down into core stages so as an example with our membership roadmap inside the academy we have planning building launching and growing then within those stages you break them down into the steps somebody would need to take to get from a to b b to c c to d and so on if your topic and if the aims of your membership website are such that this sort of approach would work then finding a way providing a pathway or a roadmap through your content can be a huge huge benefit to your members to avoid content overwhelm if you have a large library or a lot of content then having more advanced search and filtering options for your content library for your website will go a long way in helping people to find what they need to find and get to where they want to get to quicker there's plugins such as facet wp content views pro and relevancy that will help to not only give you extra options that you can place on your site for helping people to filter down your content and so on but also improve upon the wordpress search functionality if you're using wordpress for your membership site which by default wordpress search is fairly basic Plugins like Relevancy improve that and make it a little bit better and make it more likely to help people find what they need to. Things like Facet WP and Content Views Pro give you various different options for helping people narrow down the content in your site according to different criteria or the specific topics that they're looking for. It's your responsibility to provide a clear starting point, both within your membership content and within your community. So If you have multiple different segments of your audience, so you know that your audience are coming in at different levels, or perhaps they have different interests in your community, identify what would be the best piece of content for those guys to start with and make sure you're highlighting this and you're pointing them in the direction of that starting point as part of your onboarding strategy. Your onboarding strategy should also include some prompts to get started with your community. Things like having your members start an introduction thread or perhaps start a coaching log or a progress log. Again, they're great ways of giving them a starting point to have them interacting with your community to get them off to a good start and to make it more likely that they'll come back and they'll continue to post in other discussions. All of this is just about taking care of your members in those initial stages of their time with you so that they're not left trying to figure this all out themselves. They're not left to their own devices. You're helping them get off to the right start and as a result, helping them to avoid that overwhelm that comes from trying to figure out which content they should be viewing first or how to jump into the community. The next key area to look at in terms of reducing overwhelm is scheduling. And this relates to the release schedule for your content. We generally recommend releasing no more than one new piece of content per week on average. Any more than that, and you increase the chances that people feel like they're drinking from that fire hose, like there's always something new coming out and they simply don't have time to keep up with it all. Try to maintain consistency with the new content that you're adding to your membership. If you can build up that pattern and build up that habit where people know that new content is added to your site perhaps every Monday or every Tuesday, it becomes less like you're piling on when your email or your update drops in someone's inbox to let them know there's new content. If you're just sporadic in the new content that's been added, it feels a little bit less controlled, it feels a little bit less predictable, and that can certainly add to any overwhelm someone might already be feeling in handling your membership content. Quality in terms of your content is far more important than quantity. We stress that if you want someone to pay you on an ongoing basis, you need to deliver value on an ongoing basis. But sometimes 
that leads people to approaching this whole thing almost as a numbers game where they're just churning out whatever content they think will pass muster purely in order to satisfy this idea of a constant flowing stream of content. It's much better to release a smaller quantity of higher quality content. Delivering value isn't just about putting out the most content in your market. It's about putting out content that actually has value to your audience. So make sure you're not just grinding out new content after new content after new content without actually needing to. Because what also happens and what certainly can add to the overwhelm is if your content is a little bit subpar and your member checks in on every new piece of content and maybe halfway through thinks, okay, well, this is a little bit rubbish. I'm not going to watch it. Again, they've just spent a chunk of time on your membership and they've got nothing back for it. So now the added overwhelm becomes not only only how do I keep up with this content but how do I know whether the content coming out is actually even worth my time because the quality is all over the place consistent quality content beats quantity and frequency every single time and even if you're not adding brand new content on a consistent basis perhaps your membership is based around a single epic course and you're worried that perhaps somebody coming into your site and seeing 20 modules or 100 lessons are just going to be overwhelmed from the get-go then that's when you may consider things like drip feeding and modular release in order to ensure that people are fed your content bit by bit they're not overwhelmed they're able to remain focused on just what they need to focus on at that given time instead of seeing your content as this huge insurmountable mountain that they need to get through. Having things like monthly themes can also really help with avoiding content overwhelm because someone's going to know whether the particular theme being covered that month is something they want or need to pay attention to. And so it then becomes easier to plan yourself mentally for the content coming over that month, but also to disengage and to not have to worry about the new content coming out over the next few weeks if you know that that month's theme isn't suited to you. Again, it makes that member experience and the consumption of content a little more manageable. You might also also think about things like having content prerequisites so again this is kind of similar to the benefits of having drip feeding or modular release so content prerequisites would be where somebody is not able to view the next piece of content until they've either completed an activity or done an assessment relating to the content they've just viewed this helps to ensure that people aren't just skimming content and they don't end up spending hours and hours and hours sifting through all of your content but not actually using any of it. Again, this keeps people focused, it keeps people on track and helps reduce that overwhelm because there's only a certain amount of content they'll actually have available to them in accordance to wherever they are in the course or wherever they are in their journey. So the way in which you schedule your content can have a huge, huge impact on controlling and managing overwhelm. And the final key area in terms of managing overwhelm is segmentation. So you should already have identified key segments and avatars within your member base in terms of where they are on their journey, what their competencies are, what their goals and so on are. If you haven't, then this is something you should certainly try to do because this will help you to structure and deliver your content in accordance to your segment so that people at the beginner level aren't being overwhelmed by all of this content that actually perhaps is for advanced level and has nothing to do with them. If you haven't identified these sort of segments, then you can allow people to self-segment themselves with surveys and with quizzes where they can either explicitly choose which level they are at or where they can answer a series of questions that helps you to better identify which segment of your member base they fit in with. You can also use systems like Intercom, Drift and Active Campaign, and so on in order to monitor member behavior so you can tag people and you can segment people according to what content they're viewing, according to how regularly they log into your membership site and then you can recommend more tailored content to them so again they're not facing that overwhelm of trying to figure out where their time is best spent, what content they should be reading, what discussions they need to be part of within your community and so on. Now there is a fourth type of membership overwhelm we didn't mention and this one is all about you it's a often overlooked source of overwhelm for membership site owners and it's creation overwhelm so this is where you simply become overwhelmed because you've overburdened yourself with your choice of membership model with 
the frequency and the goals you set yourself for how much content that you're producing, for how much you are showing up and how much you're delivering for your members. Remember that nobody wins if you burn out. Your members do not benefit from you working yourself into a stupor. You need to make sure that whatever approach to your membership you've chosen, whatever strategy, whatever model you've chosen for your content, that it is manageable for you. If you're adding new content on an ongoing basis to your membership site, the value that you're delivering to your members needs to not only be consistent, but it needs to be consistent and manageable from your perspective. There's no point saying that you're going to deliver two new epic courses every single week if logistically, if simply the number of hours in the day makes it impossible for you to actually keep up with that sort of publication schedule. This all needs to be manageable to you. And that's why when it comes to choosing your membership model, we encourage you to think about how is your setup? Do you have a team? How good are you at creating video? If you're creating video, do you need to be on camera? Are you making it harder for yourself? Consistent and manageable is the key. No one wins if you burn out. And again, remember, with a membership site, you're the one in control. You can set and manage expectations. If you don't want to add any new content, choose a content model where you're not relying on adding fresh new content to your membership. If you're adding new content on a regular basis, but you only want to add one thing a month, then that's fine. As long as you're clear in your sales page and what you put on your sales page and your marketing materials doesn't overpromise what you're actually going to deliver on, you are able to set and manage your customer expectations. Remember that you make the rules. You get to run your membership site the way you want to, and it is key that your content model is a one that you can actually keep up with and cope with. Because if you become overwhelmed in running your membership, that's going to trickle down and that's going to show within everything that you do in your site and in your community. Okay, so as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, what we've actually done for this episode is we've taken the audio from one of the lessons of our membership content strategy course that is normally only available to paid members of Member Site Academy. Now, creating a successful membership requires so much more than just throwing together any old content and putting it behind a paywall. You need a content strategy that works well for you and your members. And as we've talked about, a big part of that is structuring your content and having the right approach that helps you to avoid overwhelm. But that is just one part of the puzzle. In our course on how to create your membership content strategy, we dive into how you decide what type of content to offer in your membership and the best way to structure and run your site accordingly. We go into techniques for ensuring that your content actually helps people achieve what they joined for, tips for improving your content production processes, for ensuring people actually complete and consume your content. So there's so much to dive into in terms of really nailing down your membership content strategy. Now, if you are a member of membersiteacademy.com, our course that will help you create your membership content strategy is available right now inside the training library. If you're not a member Member of membersiteacademy.com, head over to that website now. Check out a bit more about what the Academy offers. This course is just one of over 30 courses in our training library. Plus, of course, you get all the good stuff like our community, member offers, tools, all of that sort of stuff, which we'll touch on at the end of the show. But I hope that you've enjoyed this little sampling of the course, and I hope that it's helped you to develop an idea of how you're going to avoid overwhelm inside your membership. That's it from me for this week. Thanks again for joining me. I'll be back again next week with another another episode of the membership guys podcast if you've enjoyed today's episode of the membership guys podcast we invite you to check out the member site academy.com the member site academy is the essential resource for anyone at any stage of starting growing and running a membership website so whether you're still figuring out what your idea is going to be or whether your website is already up and running and you're just looking for ways to grow it and attract new members, then the Member Site Academy can help you to get to the next level. With our extensive course library, monthly training, exclusive member-only discounts, perks and tools, and a supportive, active community to help you along the way with feedback, encouragement and advice, 
the Member Site Academy is the perfect place to be for anyone looking to start, manage and grow a successful membership website. So check it out at membersiteacademy.com.